Call your love for Ryan Hamilton. Let him know. All right. People tell me I look like a white Chris Rock. You think that's true? Look at that, huh? Right there. I'm not talking about white people. I'm talking about crackers. Look at me. Like the illegitimate son of Jerry and Elaine. Look at that. Right there. Get your stare on. There it is. You laugh, but I have to live like this. It's not that cool, you know? I'm a single guy. I don't know if that's apparent, but... Uh, I tried that speed dating. If one rejection a week isn't enough for you, you should try speed dating. Seriously, because 30 an hour is a real rush. It really is. It's like emotional whack-a-mole, you know? Just stay down, stay down. It's not you, it's me. Stay down, I like your sister. Stay down! <laughs> Women get into these fads. You see girls wearing that glittery stuff. You ever see that, fellas, at the corner eye? Just catch a little bling. Wow, would you wash your face with your prom dress? That's amazing, how'd you do that? You look like you got punched by disco. That's what it looks like. But guys get into the fads. You know, I see guys wearing the real tight shirts to show off their chest. You know, it's like, nice shirt. Where'd you get that baby gap? Is that where you picked that up? That's amazing. Is that Oshkosh Bagosh? Is that what that is? I don't know how we're going to get clothes tighter than this. You know, we're going to be dipping ourselves in chocolate soon. Was that sweater? No, it's Magic Shell. That's what I'm wearing. Look at that right there. Yeah, it's itchy, but I'm tasty. Uh-huh. It's dangerous, too. One wrong move and I'm naked. That's the truth right there. Yeah. I moved downtown recently, so I had to get a smaller apartment, which was fine. I just had to get used to living in a bathroom-kitchen combo. Um, my bathroom mirror fogs up when I'm cooking spaghetti. I don't even have a shower. It's just a dishwasher. And not even a good one. I have to rinse myself off before I can get in. I do. I climb up in there. I fill the tray with half pert, half cascade, you know? So I come out looking pretty good. No dandruff, no streaks. I, don't, I have a garbage disposal. That's what some people call it. I call it my spoon sharpener. Who's with me? Yeah, that's right. All my spoons have a serrated edge. I just threw away my knives. I eat steak with a spoon because I can. I have a cell phone. It's great. Not only can I communicate mobily, but it sucks all the grease right off my face. Have you seen that? Every time I get off the phone, I'm like, is there Crisco in my ear? This is disgusting. I need to clean my phone, you know? But I don't. I just rub it on my pants is what I do. I just rub it right there on my pants in between the text message. I like the outdoors, too. Rub it on my pants and then right back to the ear. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm exfoliating. How are you? I'm cleansing. Have you ever met one of those people who's just completely immune to depression? How can you be depressed, Ryan, when the sun is shining? The birds are singing. Really, it's easy. Just pick up any newspaper. It'll tell you the sun's eventually going to kill us all. Those pretty birds you like so much, they have the flu. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> That's right. That was a facetious heel click. You're welcome. You don't see that every day. Look, it's no secret that I work out. It's no secret. I have a strong core. I hit the gymnasium. I do. Someone actually asked me, hey, Ryan, you want to go to the gymnasium? Yeah, Archie, let's do it. Let's hit the... Maybe we hop on that machine with the vibrating belt, you know that? Take my automobile. Let's do it. Stop on the way, get some food at the cafeteria. How about that? I got to hit the filling station, ding, ding. I've been thinking about getting that LASIK surgery for my eyes, you know, because I wear contacts, so I've been watching the ads. I saw an ad, $295 per eye. That seems a little low. <laughs> I'm not into bargain surgery. <laughs> I don't need a coupon clip for anything that involves a laser and my eyeball. <laughs> Here's the other thing, $295 per eye? Who's not getting the whole package? <laughs> Somebody walking into the LASIK place, walking out like Popeye until the paycheck comes. Yeah, I can only afford to fix one. It's not like you get one lens in your glasses, do you? Hey, there's only one lens in your glass. Is everybody on board with that? Everybody? Mississippi one. I don't know if you're aware of this, but jokes and laughter actually share a very similar relationship to lightning and thunder. So when I start counting off seconds after the punchline, what I'm doing is determining how far away my sense of humor is.
one of us needs to move. That's right. You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> I think it'd be tough having vision in one eye, though. You know, your friends ask you stuff like, hey, you want to go check out a show? We're going down to the IMAX. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stay in. i got some things to do. I've got to sight in my rifle. And uh, I've got to check out the new kaleidoscope. So I did that joke once. A woman in the audience yelled out, I just had one eye done. <laughs> she was for real. She got one eye surgically corrected for long distance vision. She kept the other eye for nearsighted vision. <laughs> what kind of hell are you living in? <laughs> I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm reading, I'm, re I'm driving, I'm cooking, flight simulator, crossword puzzle, frisbee. I gotta get out of here, you guys have been a lot of fun, thank you so much.